So we're not really in dog. Is it arrogance on our part as Botswana? Why can't we mess with each other? Why can't we mess with other people? I mean, from your 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 perspective, why no, no, is it so hard no, no, for me no. to pick up the phone? And no, we, the biggest problem with people here, like, look, man, I'll tell you this: one of the biggest thing problem with with creatives in Botswana, they overrate themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what they're doing is ordinary. Right now, everybody's fighting to be on a purchase order. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot of purchase order artists rather than studio artists. <laughs> People of different identities. Podcast with BSCD. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Pudicast right here at Stay Well Hotels, Momo Oditani. I'm your host, SCAR, and uh, today uh, we are hanging out with a man who's well known in the entertainment and events industry right here in BW. Uh, he stays all kinds of big events, uh, most notably the Booster Bash, Rejuvenation. He's also got the Botswana International Music Conference. Um, it's a whole lot, okay? And uh, he's also uh, known for his partnership in um, Lukoko Entertainment with the late great hip hop Pantola in the house. Today we got Reza Bello Mudibe. Good to have you, King. Cool, man. Cool, you were early. Look, man, this is my rule. Like, if I'm going to a meeting, like, if it's an interview, I'm always an hour before because okay. you never know what the producers want. They might want to brief you, they might want to run the show with you. If I'm going for a meeting, it's 15 minutes. Okay. And if you are late, I leave. No, 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 no. Tata Wizard, I've learned something today. I'm yeah. usually punctual. Um, I try to be as punctual as possible, but an hour early is too much, man. No, it's not. But anyhow, thank you so, so much, Brayaka. I think we're just going to start it off from the jump. You know, I, I think a lot of people, you know, but yeah. where did you grow up? I know that. But where did you grow up? I grew up in, I grew up in Buntling, White City, Extension Two, mm. in that area. But I was born and bred in Buntling. Oh, okay. Yeah. And where did you go to school? Like, you know, give us a little bit of a of a background about like, you so know. So I always talk about like, my real school was Bentham. Like I always that's the school I'm close to. Yeah. Then Masala Pula, then end up at BAC. You know, mm. I did AAT. Mm. Um, yeah, so I'm an accountant who has never practiced <laughs> and who doesn't give a shit about it. Anyway. But this is why I want to ask, Honor, how did you end up in you know, the, the thing, the, the entertainment industry with an accounting background? Because you'd expect so, accountants to be nerds. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, <laughs> yeah. to be honest, like, I, I got in this thing by coincidence, you know. Yeah. I, I was not supposed to be in it, you know. So, I look, you know, when we were growing up. So it happened, Hori. How to go, 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 Coming to town, it meant that uh, he needed somebody on the ground. He came with his mother. His mother was coming for a choral festival. Oh, okay. Kogaborone Civic Center. What year is this? Uh, I think it was 2001 or 2000. Okay. Then we missed each other. Okay. At that particular time. Yeah. Then there was a guy that was dancing for Leo Matosa. Okay. We at that time. He okay. came down to Gabs. Okay. So he told me, hey, man, Jabba na go batla. He has his CD. He has his CD because he came through and did some radio interviews. Yeah. Okay. And I took them. He had just released Muff Town. Yeah. So I took the Muff Town album. I went to drop it. Go to one. It's until like a half. Good morning. Because it was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, then I dropped another one. Go to Duke. Yeah. I remember I gave Duke in particular the CD at the Big Duke at Yarn FM. Big Duke at Yarn FM. We were doing a Saturday slot. So I gave him. Then we met with Jeb and we started to do this thing, you know. Definitely. Yeah. So that's how it was like a coincidence. Yeah. Wow, man. 
And so uh, then from there, after we met, he liked me. He's like, yo, man, you know what? I really want to work with you. I want you to be my my manager. I'm like, fuck it, man. I know nothing about this thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just this guy. You know, when I was a Kukas, you are always, I was always this guy, Kukas, so I'm always followed by people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I had, like, always had people around me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's what, like, really, really ended up bringing me to the to the business. Yeah. To the business. So those people that you ended up employing. So yeah, that like, 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 everybody that you see with, around me, whether yeah. they get Bufelo, whether they yeah. get Almost everybody around me, I've been with them for more than 15, 20 years. Wow. Bufalo, like 20 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Half of my life. I met yeah. Bufalo when I was 19, he's 40 this year. So 21 <laughs> years. So I'm just, everybody around me, like, I'm not the type of guy, like, nah, I'm not, I'm, my, my philosophy is simple. You yeah. know, I go through the door, I leave it open for everybody to come in. To come through. You know, I mean, yeah. if you remember, I once organized the gig called Rejuvenation. No, no, we're going to get to those gigs. <laughs> because I, I, I took a group of rookies, <laughs> I put them on the lineup, and I told those guys, guys, you're complaining people are not putting on. Yeah. Bring 30 of your niggas. Yeah. Everyone bring 30 of your niggas. Then the whole place will be full. You know what I'm saying? So, know, yeah. People who don't know, Rejuvenation is where we saw the likes of German, Dollar, Ricky Lamar, Crispin, yeah, the, uh, the, the drama. drama. All of the guys who are running <laughs> this stuff yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, yeah. yeah, yes. <laughs> But let's talk about that, though, about how you were able to get like corporate sponsorships for your gigs. I mean, you know, there was a year when you started the Muscom uh, annual booster bash. And how, how did. How did you get into these offices and start getting corporate sponsorships I'll tell you for, this, for man. us? Because I, mean, I want to preface this question because the only other people that we knew were getting corporate sponsorships uh, when I was younger was you know the Black Label tour, and it was Le, Re Olivier Printout. I'll and tell you. I'll tell you this, man. How did you get in there and get I, I didn't go to Moscow right? with a proposal. Yeah. So I was, I was hitting hard with Jabba, right? Yeah. When I started to work with Jabba, the focus was making like was trying to make Motswako like really fashionable. Yeah. Like making it the number one genre, like yeah. in the whole world. That was the ambition, that was the vision. Initially he was like not confident. I was like, what? When I met with Kuli yeah. and I saw him rapping, I was like, fuck it, man. All these guys are talented. So remember we were always coming to Yarn FM yeah. for the for the free stuff. Every time yeah. I was in Mouth Towns like, yo man, because you're doing nothing, come. The Sprite Rap let's, Activity let's, Jam. Let's come to the Sprite Rap Activity Jam. Yeah. So that's where it started off. Yeah. So so we were like really hard on the street, you yeah. know, like we were selling CDs, selling T-shirts. I think WHP's T-shirt is the, still the number one artist T-shirt on the street. Definitely. I don't know Definitely. any other popular T-shirt right now. Definitely. Yeah. Er. I think that's that's that. So er. I think because of we're present everywhere, when they were having strategy meetings, people were saying, those are the guys. Er. So they called us guys. Actually, a fellow comes to me. No, no, no. So I said, like, yo, my God, so a fellow goes there first. Yeah. I was not like really a boardroom guy. Like, you know, we were making money selling CDs at that yeah. time. I was making money selling t shirts. Why would I waste my time going to So I said, I'm not going to talk about the bar bar. So he tells me, no, my 12 bar 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 Remember, at the time, DJ Bugs, yeah. one of my friends, was running Lizard Lounge. Yeah. So we were organizing gigs almost every month at Lizard. And I was making, we were splitting like around 10 grand each. Can I, let me, let's talk about that because a lot of those times, Totani Lady DJs hell. How did you convince those DJs at the time to connect a microphone to let this guy rap? He was good. Okay. So there were no other good guys. Look, no, no, no. Jabba came through here. Yeah, okay. Identified me. Okay. Different story. Different story. Yeah. Yes, I mean, obviously, even if there was a good guy here, yeah. do you think guys here will just, if they know you're good, they'll approach you? Guys yeah. here like they're so selfish with their position. Yeah. You guys have got a... I'll we'll say you. No, no, even <laughs> you, you know, guys like really here, you've got a small mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll tell you, and it's because the market here is not competitive. Yeah. You know, if you fail, you can go, yeah. in South Africa, if you fail, it means you're going to sleep under the bridge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a different ball game there. It's yeah. very, very competitive. Yeah. So, so Buffalo goes back to Moscow. He yeah. comes back and says, guys, I think we've got a good deal. Yeah. We've got a big deal, actually. Yeah. We go in there. No, at the Kualam proposal. Yeah. So we call, Bax is the immediate guy that I call. I'm like, yo, Bax, come. Was he still at the UB? No, no, no. He was at, he was running Lizard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or well, Mr. Bax, the short home. Yeah. Next like Monaco UB as well, though. Yeah, but he was running DJ. He okay. was DJing at, at at Lizard at that time. Okay. So, I called Bax. Like Bax, 
this guy's the one, this, this, this. Then Bugs tells me, look, you need to register a community to do this. So Bugs comes up with a whole idea. Oh, okay. And the whole plan and say, like, this is how. So Bugs is a mastermind. Yeah. Don't fuck around with Bugs. Right? No, like him, no, 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 I'm not I'm telling you. Don't yeah. fuck around with him. Yeah. Like, he's a mastermind. Yeah. Like, he's got, his brain is like, yeah, yeah. he might be, look like stupid. But <laughs> very, very, very. So, you said it. <laughs> yeah, so he, he comes across and he tells me everything. Like, yo, man, I call Jebba. Bugs sits us down. Yeah. He runs the whole thing. Because Bugs has got time to research and do stuff. Yeah. Even when I was going to meetings and they say, sometimes I'll call Bugs, oh man, we've got a meeting yeah. at EMI, that's what those guys are saying. Then he'll tell us, no, these are the do's and don'ts. And whenever we take his advice, it yeah. worked. So you know what? I would have never guessed, huh? Huh? I would have never guessed. He kept to himself a lot. Yeah. So mm. so so almost a lot of the tricks at that time we or a lot of strategies. Yeah. And a lot of like do's and don'ts because Bugs had been, been having been a DJ. Remember, he had entered competition, he got screwed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had been, you know, he had, you know, he had the experience. So yeah. he was this guy who would say, like, guys, those guys are like bluffing, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think it became what it is, you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. He, he was in that competition, the, was it the Vista one? Yeah, the Spin Doctor. He has been in many, man, the in many of those do, yeah. co competitions. All right, so you guys are able to get into these uh, boardrooms and then you're able to get money out of. Uh, companies that a lot of young people really, really wanted to work with. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't know if we should talk about rejuvenation first. What bag did you get able to get for these unknowns? And how were you able uh, to put all of that together? Can we talk numbers, though? No, I, mm. I just, we just had a meeting and we talked. Yeah. And I said, guys, I've got this. Are you in? Yeah. But like I'm saying, today I don't see that hunger that those guys had, yeah. right? Remember Crispin at that time was trying to have a, his own radio station, yeah. Bad News Radio. Yeah. Uh, the gro gro groovy, groovy Souls guys were trying to push the whole Bull and Bush and T-shirt. Yeah. All of those DJs were having their own little Kuchi hustle. Kuchi was Kuchi doing was, his yeah. thing. So, so, so I chose the guys that I knew. They were the hungers and they were doing something. Yeah. And they were just having a little bit of a follow. So I, all I was doing is just taking all their... their, their fan, you just... Amalgamating the fan base yeah. into one huge fan base. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But like I'm saying, those guys, they were really, really, you know, they had it. You know, you could yeah. see it in their eyes that they wanted it the most. Mm. Like, I don't see it most with the current guys. I think the guys right now, they're just hustling to get into the lineup. Mm. Right? Yeah. And they don't look beyond being in a poster or in a flyer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I hear that. That's why there's so many new DJs. But... You know, you you never know their face and you never know who they are and they're mm. not on social because they fight so much to be on a flyer, yeah. but they don't have presence anywhere else. Definitely. Yeah. So how 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 would you say what what changed? What changed from uh, people wanting to do for themselves? What what changed now? What's the difference between then and now as far as you're concerned? Or hunger it's, 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 it's because right now, you know, you go to my sec, they'll give you money to perform gig in twenty thousand. <laughs> right now everybody's fighting to be on a purchase order. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot of purchase order artists rather than studio artists to go in there and lock down the streets, mm -hmm. like have a banger, put it on radio, put it on social. You don't have that. Like a lot of artists right now would rather be on a purchase order than rather be on radio. Do you think this is because of your and my sex role in giving out so no, much no, money? No, no, it's, it's because there's money there. I mean, if you can mm. tell me... People, I don't know about the money. I call my sex. No, 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 I'm not saying my sex. Yeah. I'm just saying just government. Okay, let me give you an example. When it's no, about no. 100,000, uh, do you develop a fund? Do you think all these things are hindering people, uh, young people, from, from actually working? Like the president's award. Like, do you think no, things I'm like gonna, that I'm help gonna, out? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain mm. this, right? Yeah. There's a serious need for government funding of the creative industry, right? Yeah. But we need to fund the right things and the right projects, right? Yeah. You know, I organize the music conference every year. I can tell you, almost... Many people that have come through the conference have come to become great. You know Yandil? Mm. She started with the music conference. Nuku. I, can, Nuku, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can tell you many people that have come through the conference. But many artists, right, mm. they don't believe in starting by attending a workshop, attending a conference. You had to sit outside P-side, right, mm. for your chance to come in studio. Yeah. But many artists, they don't believe in queuing up mm. and, like, going through the whole process. They believe in going through the top of the food chain. Yeah. And that is where the difference is. So for me... The biggest problem is that the industry is... People say there's no money. There's money in the industry, right? Mm. But the problem is that it's government interfacing with the, in, with the, with the individuals or with the artists directly. Mm. So there'll never be any industry like that. If mm. you go to the US, right? Mm. It's government. It's big record companies. It's promoters. Mm. It's, you know, 
PR people, it's the street teams and so forth. You go to South Africa, it's what you call the DSPs, the publishers, the labels, you know, the PR people. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You come here, it's the government and then the artist. artist. Like a government officer books the artist, right? Yeah. In the essay, it's different. Government engages talent agencies to book artists. Mm. So as long as the value chain is not fully, you will forever find artists scrum here. And mm. another thing is that, look, man, I don't know what happened with you guys, you know. Yeah. But I think we started well going to Channel O, winning stuff. There was a whole ambition of going international. Yeah. But people got frustrated. And I always tell people that the way the music industry is structured, you know, even in SA, right? Yeah. SA is the melting point of the African music industry. Everybody goes there. Davido had to go there to work with Bopori. Whiskey. His Don't new album has uh, some major piano tracks right now. That, He's playing it in Atlanta. Hotel piano. Yeah, so <laughs> everybody goes there, right? Even if you're from Botswana, there are guys from Tanzania who are there, who are trying to hustle, whether from Malawi or wherever. So yeah. people really get so frustrated when they can break in there. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because you must understand also the locals are trying to break into their own market there. Mm. Because once you break into the South African market, it means you get into Channel O, you get into BT, you get into MTV, you get in all the spaces, and you are able to explode in the continent yeah. and probably in the world. Yeah. I don't see much of artists in Botswana saying, I want to be an international star. I, I listen to a lot of radio interviews. I've never seen an artist like <laughs> seen an interview and said, like, you know what? My market and my vision is not Botswana. Mm. I'm There's a couple. Go to, okay, maybe you haven't been interacting with the new ones. A couple of these new ones really are ambitious. So about, and which is why okay, it's all frustrating watching them with all of these ambitions. And they, they lack some of these know-hows. You know what I mean? How, how are you trying to, to help? Or have you just completely disengaged? No, no, I'm, I have a platform. Hey, you're on the conference. I have a, that platform there, er. BET, the MTV, and yes. BET, Africa CEO was there. Er. The guy that gets the video was there. So you want to be big, but you don't going to come there. Er. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to stay there and, and say it on Yarona, what are you doing? Saying it is, a, is one thing, er. but acting on it is another thing. Like, I, <laughs> when I was working with Jeb, I had to do stuff myself. Like, er. I'll tell you one story. So, when after we released the like YBA to Northwest, you know, yeah. with Jeb and stuff, we're about to drop acceptance speech, yeah. right? Jeb calls me out of the blue. Easy B knows the story, he'll tell you. Calls me out of the studio, and like, yo, man, Bizo, you know, this guy's at EMI just bought Mendoza like a big car and a house, and now he's the artist, <laughs> he signed an artist deal, right? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, so you wanna get money from these guys. Yeah. They buy you a house like you're saying. They buy you, they buy you a car, mm -hmm. and you'll owe them five, three, four million. You mm -hmm. record an album every year. You become their slave, mm -hmm. and then from there, when you are not hot anymore, they kick you out. You don't own anything. So is so, that how you guys ended up doing your own thing with Lukoko? Yeah, yeah, I mean we're we're already doing you're it, already but we're struggling. Hey, we're struggling, guys. You know, so he was about to give in. Yeah, he was about to give in. I'm like, <laughs> so you're gonna get the bag now yeah. and run. And then from there, later on when you're broke, you're going to come back to the table and try to start again. Yeah. Then I think he went there, you know, to try mm. and have a meeting. He was trying to do a deal where he was with them and he was not with them. And yeah. they said, no, man, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> one foot in, one foot out. Oh, man, so yeah. what the fuck are you saying? Yeah. Can't where is that guy that you're always with? Yeah. Is the that, CCP? Yeah, CC, like, yeah, CCP, yeah. yeah. What's that guy that you're always with, yeah. right? Yeah. So he came down. So I remember when he was looking for me, he went to Easy because I was not taking his call. I felt this guy is yeah, full of crap. Up, yeah. So he called Easy. Easy calls me and said, Hey, Mona, we're going to go to I go to Easy B. No, no, no. I'm going to go to Easy B. No, no, no. So I'm like, Dude, what do you want? Yeah. I could wonder you want to sign with those guys. Yeah. He says, No, no, no. I've quit that thing. I want you like to go there and represent me. Like I'm you know, not. I'm gonna stop you there because we had a conversation with Mampizi about Tony the Major or Aban Kirai, and he says he'll never sign with, with, with a major again. In this day and age, in 2023, do you, what would you tell an artist to go independent, or would you tell them or if you have an it's opportunity a, for a, help? And also in the Botswana context, these investors, these dudes out here who are also in um, uh, event management as well. Harizo Rikibo Mandi time Bring out a big bag, give it to someone, and then they start, you know, booking whatever, which I've seen got to complicate the, you know, <laughs> the status quo as it is. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what do you think about uh, that? I'll start with the whole major thing uh, of being independent. It's a business decision, right? Yeah. For me, like, 
Start as an independent, like own your shit. Yeah. Even if you sign with a major, do a license deal. Because if you do a license deal, you'll own a, you'll own your masters. Yeah. The reason why probably Mampiz is aggrieved is because he got the money from these guys mm. and they paid for the production and everything. And now they're saying bring back our money, you didn't bring back you didn't make the money. Yeah. But if you own your stuff, right? Yeah. If you produce your stuff with your own money, you just license to them, they market it. Yeah. If the album fails in the market, you get your master back. You can go and market it elsewhere. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So with me and Jebba, it was a license deal. Yeah. And actually, from the word go, we were very smart. Like, our deal was, I can't state the figures, EMI mm. will pay for the production of the album, right? Yeah. But once we've completed the master, we'll submit it to EMI and under a license agreement. Okay. So we're using our own money to produce our own shit. Okay, so what, what, when you say license agreement, I, let's say I got a five-track EP right now and I'm mm. watching this show. How do I start? Um, you know, where do I go? What type of doors do I knock on? I think for me, the, the starting point for guys who are new, they must use DSPs. Yeah. If you are new, just start with CD Baby or Tune Call yeah. or all those other guys. Digital streaming platforms. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can start with those guys. But once you build fan base and your, your shit is popping, you can go to Afrikori because then they can give you a budget to do some or, 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 or uh, in groups or some of those guys like the Orchard so because they can give you a budget to do some marketing and some videos. Google guys. Yeah. So all these so, names. <laughs> so, so, so 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 for me, I'll tell you this: if you are studying as a as a as a new artist, this there's, there's just so many videographers from Limco who yeah. are sitting home. Get a guy that's going to be doing content for you. Yeah. Right. Mm. Because YouTube pays more than all the other streaming platforms. So it means that you must shoot a lot of your performances, put them on YouTube. You must shoot a lot of your performances. Uh, yeah. videos put them on YouTube yeah. because should your song become big they're going to look for you it, should it become big yeah. right? they're going to come looking for you mm. you know what I'm saying yeah. and when they come looking for you it means they're negotiating with you at your own time I'll give you a typical example that you don't know mm-hmm. you know one of the boys on that Mlando song like it's my boy Mdu yeah. Mduva okay. so I've known him like we've been talking for some time during lockdown and stuff like that yeah man this is what's happening Yeah. so they decided to go in the studio I think they did that Mlando song. The toss. No, no, yeah, toss. Yeah. There's a guy that there's a brains there, like yeah. a producer guy. Yeah. Yeah, like the guy that's like doing the production. His yes. name is Mdu. I think it's three of them. Okay. So we've been talking for some time, like, and we were talking about this. You know, we always talk about the things that we're talking about now. Yes. They went into the studio. They started to do the Mlando thing. You know, they 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 produced the song in the morning. I woke up. I went into his timeline. I found like fuck. Like I'm listening to something and it's a bomb. I'm, I'm I send him a WhatsApp. I'm like. What's up, like yo, man? Dude, what did you just do? Yeah. This is a bomb. What's happening? It's like yeah. yo, man. This thing has gone viral. Like, <laughs> by two o'clock, everybody's dancing all over the place. Yeah. And I'm like, I send him a message. I'm like, my nigga, you have yeah. arrived. Yeah. Like, out of one moment. So, I think right now people, like artists, they don't take people in that uh, you know through like basically at home. Mm-hmm. You like with Venti and Viso, yeah. you would have been great when they were making that album. Like they're taking fans through the journey of making the album, yeah. everything, and people. Like people are recording with them throughout, and yeah. by the time the whole thing drops, yeah, because that right now I think that thing of theirs is the biggest thing, you know. Yeah, the track but is really nice. Uh, uh, Henny Ice Tea as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So mm. I'm saying, imagine if they could have just filmed the whole journey from the time they met. They we're gonna do this album. Yeah, they're, they're going into the studio. They do yeah. the track selection, the producer selection, the sound, and everything. And another thing is, which I see with with artists, you know, lack of collaborations amongst locals, yeah. even internationals. It doesn't give them um, uh, diversified productions. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, you can hear that there's a fella. Yeah. This is a, so. So imagine if you were gonna get a fella yeah. and you were gonna get a fellow T on an album, yeah. like on a production. It's a piano. It's a hip hop. Yeah. So the the artist as well goes another level because the production diversity also gives them that. So not really, dog. Is it arrogance on our part as Botswana? Why can't we mess with each other? Why can't we mess with other people? I mean, from your 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 perspective, why no, no, is it so hard no, no, for me no, to pick up the phone? And no, we, the biggest problem with people here, like, look, man, I'll tell you this: one of the biggest thing problem with with creatives in Botswana, they overrate themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what they're doing is ordinary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we overrate ourselves so much that you know sometimes yeah. it's crazy. Like guys in my in my office, people like guys are always laughing when I'm telling them the stories. Yeah. Like, for, for, for you know, for, for the past ten years, we overrate ourselves. Yeah. Look, we're not 
as we are not talented more than anyone else. We are just talent. Talent is talent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you. Better Boy is not the most talented African artist. Yeah. Or Davido or Whiskey or whoever. Yeah. Talent is talent. It depends. Hore, how is it harnessed? Mm. How is it marketed? Yeah. How it is marketed? How it's packaged? How it's presented to the audience? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, tell me. You want to tell me that in the U.S. Chris Brown is the best like R&B dancer? No, no. Nah, no. it's yeah. about like his packaging, his brain. Yes. Because you know, the music industry, right? Yes. It's it's now the branding industry. You know, the best branders. Yeah. I am the music industry. Yeah. I'll give you there was a Japanese guy some years ago, Gangnam <laughs> Style. Yeah. I mean, that For was real. pure branding. Everybody yeah. was into that thing. It was yeah. playing everywhere. Yeah. But I mean, that was okay, crap. Okay, you know yeah. 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 I'm saying, no, even Snoop did a yeah. song with him. You know what I'm saying? No, you know but I'm saying? at least Bonnie, they know how to position themselves. Yeah. I think I want to get one more positioning. I think we left the Mascom conversation too early. Yeah. Um, are you st are you still trying to do events? Are you done with the eventing? No, and I'll never, I'll never stop. Never, yeah, okay. Yeah, never so stop. let's talk a little bit about Honore. Um, how did you get Bomascom um on board? I, I mean, hot. you were doing a lot of it. I mean, you were doing the Booster Bash, you were doing the Rejuvenation. There was also the endorsement deal for for DJ Tracks and Bodagslis Masadi and Bojaba. The, 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 the rule is very simple, man. You must be hot. I was hot at the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you are not hot, nobody's gonna fuck with you. You know. Because I'm trying to, like, but my little bit thing going on here. There's a lot of, okay, there's a lot of other... My nigga, produce a hit. It's like a wheel of light. You got no hit. It's a simple rule. I mean, I sit down sometimes. At this deep, we are all blind, dude. My man, do you have a hit? If you don't have a hit, keep quiet. Okay, I want to get to that also. There's some people who believe that they, they have hits, but they don't get booked. It's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah we're still at the same place that we were about 20 years ago when it comes to South African uh, uh, musicians being paid way more than... Uh, I know you're going to be brutal about this, so I'm getting myself ready. Yeah. So, why is it still the same? Because we're still doing the same <laughs> mistakes, the same shit that we were doing 20 years ago. Explain. <laughs> Look, man. How are guys getting 250 grand let me tell in you. advance? No, let me just set it up for you guys, okay? There's some people who are coming into Botswana here getting 200,000 pula before they even set foot on a plane. And then, where now, we only hit the Botswana more. You'll be lucky to get five grand. <laughs> My nigga, let at me the end of the show, <laughs> or even ten. So you know, um, uh, this has been happening. It's twenty years in, dog. Yeah, and it's still gonna happen the next twenty years. <laughs> you don't change. I told you the music industry works on branding, right? Is the the biggest branders of of product, and and the and the creative industry, right? Mm. I'll give you a typical example, right? Davido came down here for the Forbes. Thing, right? No, 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 no. It's, it's, your, it's your own opinion. Let me no, finish. No, no, you're killing my dream. Okay, sorry, okay. Fine. Let me yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. But, right? <laughs> Why did Davido come here, right? The Forbes guys, they sat down and said, look, who's got the best statistics in terms of streaming in Africa? Mm. Who's got the best statistics in terms of record sales? Who's the touring artist right now? Who's more accessible for us? Who can be relevant in Botswana, right? Mm -hmm. I think David has been here two, three times. Yeah. And the name, can it, that thing Africa, mm -hmm. that pops out is David. David. Yeah, right? Yeah. When they do put all those questions, they post all those questions and say, in Botswana, <laughs> which name came out, right? Mm. So people must never, must stop frustrating themselves uh, about lack of achievement, mm. uh, which has which which results because of their actions. Yeah. Right now, hello, Roa Kenya, no, Maro Kenya, because of the Ozodi Dira. What's the room blame? Let you look at Kenya, no. Well, hello, yeah. So, yeah. right now, there's just a lot of self sabotage, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, I believe those guys, right? Like, you guys are building stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. How long have you take it has it taken you to get these guys? It took us some time. I mean, even no, no, for no, them no, to no, 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 not yeah. this this particular group of guys. Hey, hey. Like the guys that you have gone to, and they're like, ah, scar man, yeah. fuck you, we yeah. want the money, yeah. my man. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Na get any About three production companies. Yeah, yeah. but the, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So my point is that you need people that are visionary mm. that can get it, and if people don't get it, they'll never get it. Yeah. So 
a lot of our artists they'll never get it because they don't get it. So the starting point, Caesar, is very simple. Put a structure around your brand. Yeah. Right now, people think that my success is because I'm alone. My man, this guy that are around me is not that they are fools. Like, mm. it's a group of guys. When we're doing the DBS thing, I, DJ Fresh was shocked when I brought all those guys. Mm. I brought Buffalo again, you know, he was on the road. Yeah. I, took him, I brought all oh my guys, but 52 were involved. Yeah, 52, guys, yeah. Because for me to be successful, those guys must be there. That's yeah. the core. People, yeah. they don't understand that for you to be successful, you have to have all those guys. Spokes, bo, 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 yeah. Bo, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. When I win, they win also. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the biggest problem is that guys, when they win, they want to keep the back to themselves mm. and give the other guys the scrums. Mm. You're not going to go anywhere. Like, nah, I'll never starve, yeah. right? Yeah. Because I've got these guys. Yeah. When they go out there and they'll go and say, I think this is you, buddy. Take Because they know, even if I take the proposal and go and pre- present it, and mm. it's not them, they're going to eat. Yeah. They're not scared that if I'm in the forefront, they're not going to eat. Yeah. So right now, your boys, like right now, if somebody was going to call them and say, guys, come and pitch something, and they think like, yo, man, hey, this thing is much bigger. Let's think about giving it to that guy. Yeah. They're not quite sure what that guy would like to do. They're not going to give it a shot. Yeah. Because guys have created a situation where yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you've got to stop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've got to create... Uh, Trust amongst yeah. your circle. Trust amount um, uh, around it. Like. Not even when the, the booster badge didn't go well and Moscow said, guys, we're not in and stuff like that. I didn't stop. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, I had <laughs> more guys come in and say, yo, it's Bizo. When things were not going, the guys were calling me when I'm done. now. yo, it's Bizo. We can't let you go down. Yeah. Come, run the spine forward. Mm. Majita, come, run the spine forward. Yeah. So I had another layer of people coming, calling me from anywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I always tell people, people call, these things I'm doing with Fresh and everybody, mm. they are not by luck or by favor or by anyway. It's because I've built such a big brand and I've built such a big name and I've got a big circle of people. So when I'm doing something, yeah. they all go into the field and fight for it. Masa, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk about your name, the Department of Broadcasting Services Roadshow. Um, you guys went all across the country. Um, was it a success? Yeah, a lot. What I mean, exactly we, were we trying to do? One, it was to identify talent. Yeah. You were there, you saw the talent. Yes. All those artists that you saw performing, you yes. saw them for the first time. For right? the very first time, yeah. All of them, except yeah. Apollo and Polo. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we went around the country, um, identifying talent. You know, they, they were not only identified, they were given money. Yeah. You know, like, I think they won. No, there was a lot of money flying yeah. around there. Yeah. How much are we now? 20, 10. Yeah, yeah. I was so happy. It was and like a beautiful day. They were not winning only. Oh. Yeah. They were told, go to the studio and record. We'll record. You know, others were bought studio equipment, others. Mm. Sound equipment to use, I think, the top five. Yeah. But the emphasis was to build capacity of these artists, mm. right? The top 30 that we identified that you saw at the last, yeah, we still have sure. Fresh still talks to them, yeah. still mentors them, still gives them advice. You know, it was just like throwing money at problems. Mm. But the one thing that we learned also when we were on the road yeah. is that, yeah. But you see, there's no facilities. If you go to, to, to Veda, I want you to go to Veda with you. I'm going to take you to Veda. <laughs> <laughs> we must take those guys and take the studio there. Yeah. There's a lot of rappers in Veda than anywhere in the country. Whoa. Not only average rappers. Yeah. I mean, the best rappers in this country are in Veda. Definitely. No, if you, if you go to Hans, right? Yeah. Live music. Where you set a band, you let a band and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, kwasa, kwasa, you, want, what? you go to Hans. Yeah. If you go to Mau, diversity in terms of, like, but one of the things that is lacking in those things is proper recording facilities, mm. right? So I'm hoping that as the project goes on, like yeah. Fresh is saying, he's going to build a studio somewhere in Ka mm-hmm. for the artists in Ghana. So it's also trying to we're also trying to raise money. I think we're talking some guys. It's taking some guys to do something in Mau, mm-hmm. set up a studio there, like a free studio, like you know, a community recording studio mm-hmm. where guys can come come because the only way artists can be good is when they record themselves, mm-hmm. you know, or they record them that craft. There's no way you can know that you're a good uh, singer when you're not recording. Yeah, definitely. You've got to record stuff and put it out. Definitely. That's how uh, uh, you become better. And even the producers, the more they produce people, no matter how much they are, the more they produce people, is the more they become better. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, yeah, you know, so yeah. We, 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 doing that. We, we did that. We 
identify that we boot camp them you know we did a lot of stuff man we, we also helped them to digitize their catalog like mm. put it on itunes um you know what i'm saying so we're still helping them load, like you know with the dsp thing because yeah. that's where a lot of youngsters struggle even you know when once you have you know trans transition from studio yeah. to digital yeah i think one of the guys has dropped an album now mm -hmm. Uh, Botizo, the first guy. Botizo, okay. Yeah, it's okay. like it's from Hans. He works a lot with Skizo. Yeah. Oh, he did a song with K KSB December. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that vocalist guy. Wow, That's, come on now. You must, that name, you must remember it. KSB. Uh, no, HR, HR, HRB Botizo. Okay, HRB Botizo. He's from, if it's from Omawe name. Okay. No, really, we'll keep an eye out. No, Definitely. no, I'm saying, yeah. remember Botizo yeah. in your life. Remember yeah. this name, Botizo. <laughs> Butizo it is. <laughs> I want to get into some more personal yeah. stuff because, um, you know, like we were talking about Jabba and uh, depression is a, is a thing that we want a lot about um, yeah. these days. More, 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 well, not only in BW, across the world, especially in the entertainment industry. Every other week we're hearing about Dintuana, Dintu, you know, who advise because of whatever they're going through. Um, when, what, were you ever able to talk to Jabba about what he was going through? Not really, man. Like... Like most of the time, I would hear it like he's gone. I will hear from somebody, hey, Mona, Jabba, I'll go to Gareth Lee for one, two, three, four, five. Mm. So I'll give him a call. We meet, hey, Mona, can't talk to what's wrong now. It's busy, you know, it's, mm. Mm. I'm fine now, man. I was like, you know, yeah. yeah. So I think also this thing, it needs, you know, these days, you know, like if you've got a mental health problem, yeah, people laugh at you, you know. Mm. They laugh at you, you know, like people take it as a joke. Yeah. Like Lang Gotemut has lost his mind, you know what I'm saying? People they don't feel there's no empathy, you know. Yeah. So I think there's a lot that needs to be done, especially education. Same way like uh, HIV AIDS, you yeah. know, Lebo, Diotabu, sugar diabetes, non yeah. I think there's a lot of effort that needs to be done in terms of issues of mental health. Did you see did you see it come to this extremity? Where thought that he would uh, ultimately take his life. I mean, we hang no, out no, with no, our no. boys with Abu like that. You know, no, you'll never see it coming. Yeah, I mean, I never thought that you know, at any given point, you know, like at this particular time, at at my age, like yeah. Jebo would be no more. Like mm. I'll be lying. I it is never, you know, I never planned a life without him. You yeah. know, like you know what I'm saying. Doesn't make because sense. Because I mean, I, because of our age at that time, I was 36, 35. 30, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, I want to talk about Honor. How did his passing affect you uh, personally, and also uh, as far yeah. as your business with him, Yone Lekoko? Yeah. Where Where does that stand? Yeah, Lekoko Entertainment is still there. Mm. Um, you know, the company is registered. It's still there. It's, yeah. Um, I'm, for me, where I'm sitting is that um, I don't want to do a lot of things. I don't want to do many things because, you know, his son is growing up. Mm. My, my my main thing is, like, when he grows big, he can take over the catalog mm. and run it and, and become something that, you know, would be his father's legacy and his father will be proud of it. Mm. About how it affected me, I mean, death is not a, it's not a, a kind thing, you know. Yeah. I didn't take it well, you know. I mean, I struggled yeah. for so many years, I think two, three years. Mm. So I couldn't like really, 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 really grasp a lot of stuff. And yeah. I mean, you end up asking yourself a lot of questions, whether you're a good friend or a bad friend, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it, it it had me questioning myself a lot, you know what I'm saying, about the type of person I am, you know? Mm. Um, Speaking about yeah. that also, but, um, also I, I, I want to talk about also um, Jabba's uh, ex-wife, uh, Lerato. Um, you know, there's an excerpt here from a South African newspaper, you know, I quote, a Botswana national alleged that singer was not uh, you know the artist's what, man, wife. Let me cut you family. short. I, Did you say these things, man? Uh, let me tell you this about me, man. Mm. Where Jeba is involved, right? Yeah. And his, his son is involved, right? Yeah. And his mom is involved. I always do everything to protect Jeba's son. Yeah. With all my life. Yeah. And I'll never entertain any other person or any other, and I'll never make an interview or anything. Mm. But you must understand that I have a boy to raise, you know? Yeah. So I must watch what I say in public space. Definitely. I'm not going to go out there and do interviews about Jebba to try and promote myself and then at the same time try and uh, profit from Liana, you know what Definitely. I'm saying? Yeah, that's not me. I mean, I was Jebba's friend. I get yeah. I get like a job with two cents. Mm. So... Where I stand in life, right? Mm -hmm. If because Jabba is no more, if Lano is not gonna gain from it, 
I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Everybody knows. Every land is not going to benefit from it. Because I'm, I, look, man, I'm, where I'm sitting, I've got mm. my own things. I've got my own. <laughs> I don't owe anybody anything. I can go here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't need any catalog. I don't need anything that Jabba owns, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I've got my own things. He had his own thing. So yeah. for me, the most important thing is for Antoine, yeah, I feel my trick, I feel you know, on the shop. Like, mm. you know, he must, like if he wants a Nike Jordan, yeah. that his father could get him if i can afford it i'll buy it mm. if he wants to go to this if he wants this he wants this i must be able to do that because Definitely. the same thing if it was me jebo would do it yeah yeah so that's that's that, that's me with it and uh, well, like just to wrap it up no hold and he is protected you are doing everything that you can on the protect it because like i'm saying uh, look i can't i can't i can't protect him about, yeah i can't protect him what's happening it's none of my business there yeah. and i can't control it but yeah. in terms of me trying to make sure that he's at least you know feel what you that, can do. yeah yeah what yeah. i can do in terms of what you know the most important thing about about the whole thing is he must feel that i care about him mm. you know he must not feel oh, yo, Diamond, you know, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He must, you know, we talk every day, almost every yeah. second day, like Ragura, sometimes it's yeah. Gela, Ragura, yeah. sometimes it's yeah. So we've got that relationship. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, man, my relationship with him, That's dope, huh? it's it's more like a Jebba's Bizo relationship when yeah. we were younger. Sorry. We've got our good days and bad days. He looks days. exactly like him, man. Yeah. yeah. And he wants to come down. Appear. Can he spit? Yeah, he's a good animator. Mm. <laughs> he's I don't know how they can speak, <laughs> but he's a good. He's a, you must check out his his Instagram. He's really yeah. good in animation. No, you must, you must, you must, you must tell him to. You must commission him to do some of your artwork. No, the talk much like he's one of us, yeah, 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 And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't really know. Nice. I, I was I have asked him. Are you a rapper? He says, everybody all the time asking me to speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, rap was, I, mean, I made it fashionable for us to even have careers. So, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It was nice to see him receiving a Netlani Award, Yaga Kurotman, a Lifetime Achievement Award. I want to talk about the Botswana Music Union. Um, that when I think I joined the union because of you. Yeah. Because I realized, well, okay, cool. Here you are. Uh, you can at least help uh, because now that I'm getting some more Boston music union, I'm getting some more cross boards. I'm getting some more cross boards. It's easy, it's easy. You know what I mean? Because you know what I mean? Because you know he was feeling worried. Because you know he was feeling worried. You can effect change when you are inside. How did you and Bomu uh, reconcile? Because I remember back back in the day, no, you know, I was trying to be a bad, I was a bad guy. Too some bad structure, and then out of nowhere. You were all the way that side, yeah, on the other I'll side of the you, road. I'll tell you one thing about mm. me. It's black and white. Yeah. If you're doing some bullshit, I'll tell you out. <laughs> I'll call you out. It's me. Yeah, if you're doing the right thing, I'll applaud you. Yeah. I'm not the type of guy that's going to speak. How Why did you, you walk out the first time? No, no, I didn't. I just left when my term left. When yeah. my term ended. You were, what were you, what was your official position then? I was Secretary General. Okay. Yeah. So, for me, man, any organization that seeks to represent artists, right, mm -hmm. must benefit artists. But at the same time, artists must, must play their part. You can't stay home and want people to go straight for you. Like what you were doing, you're not joining Cosmo. That was very reckless and irresponsible. It's weird. So you've got to be part of the conversation. That's bad. No one must speak about you without you being at the table. And this is why the artists in Botswana get it wrong. You want people to sit there, go, 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 go arts cancel, uh, Cause what if we, to speak about you see are they going to let us in there though they like, will. it looks like nah, man, you're not a victim stop no no you're i'm not, not playing not the victim we don't get ryan usually mobotswana just like with everything else it's about accreditation hey do you have a ba in this do you have a ba in that before you can even get into any type no, no, of no, committees no, no. No, no. can't you get in just because you have vman pz and you've yeah. done a lot of stuff yeah. for 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 bw no, music no, you, don't, you don't even need to be in a committee you just need to can i your national ask and say the other day just popped up i'm not trying to be controversial no you're not i'm i'm answering you SV. You don't have to be uh, uh, in the board. You just have to make sure that Pudi Cast is an affiliate of the Arts Council. So that when they call a meeting, you are there to raise a hand and say, guys, this is what I'm thinking. SV. Okay. Participate. If, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, 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 don't think about it twice. Hey, the, this is the biggest downfall. My nigga, if you're not at the table, and people are negotiating and are at the table. Those are the table. They'll get whatever is on the table and leave. Mm. You can't come late and say, ah, yeah. 
That's the biggest downfall of everybody. People they want to stay home. And then from there, I hear that. And yeah. um, okay, Total Music Group. I mean, a lot of us saw you write so much about it on your 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 your, your, your Facebook, and then it came into fruition. And then ultimately, <laughs> because Nikko Levele said, "But I know about our confessor, and he is he really doing it?" And you know, you did it. You know, and uh, ultimately, when, 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 I, when have you started to doubt me? No, it wasn't doubt. We still keep pushing. Can I do it Sometimes hard to do. We never sometimes do it, especially when we're winning. But I broke one deal, and then you feel like you've already done it. I've seen a lot of people do okay. that. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it went that route. So mm. we're in a lockdown. We're sitting inside the house, right? Yeah. We're sitting mum and mum inside, like in Ishmael. house arrest. You can't get all out. of us. Yeah. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so first thing. <laughs> I call a guy who's a friend of mine <laughs> because what I'm I'm now creative because mm. like now nah, yeah. I rise when everything is down and out. Yes, when I'm put under pressure and when I'm ruled out. Yeah. So everybody go complain. I'm like mm. fuck. I'm not going to be home. Yeah. I need to find a way of leaving my house every day to gain inspiration in the street. Yeah. As well. Right. Yeah. So I call this guy, hey, Mono, you're talking about the PM Turkey, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the PM Turkey. I'm going to go back to the PM Turkey. My nigga, every day I'm driving in my car, not going anywhere. <laughs> There's no one in town. You know, like it's dead. Yeah. Nobody's recording anything. Yeah. And I'm looking at what's happening all over, man. People are recording, yeah. people are doing stuff. I'm like, yeah. fuck, you know what? This might be a time to start a music company. Yeah, I start. I write it down. I check out. I find that Black Coffee just bought shares in Galo. Mm. And so I was like going through it. I found that this guy Steve Stout yeah. studied United Masters like at DSP. Yeah, I saw it. So, yeah. so the, all these things are all those moves are happening in on lockdown. Mm. With my experience, I start conceptualizing Total Music Group like as a music label, yeah. as a music consulting firm. As I'm writing this thing. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I even stayed, I even got funding from my sexual stage my because, uh, a conference in the middle of COVID because I, what, I was busy yeah. doing this thing and yeah. I was the only guy at the time yeah. who had took ability of what I'm doing. Yeah. So I gave them a person, guys, I could actually stage a conference in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> So I was being creative. I was like at my heart of creativity at that time. And then you get that I even got, I, And I even get, I think Tondore gave me 10,000 to start. Yes, I, I think so 10 or 20 grand. I've, okay, Tondore <laughs> actually gave me money and I got to register it. <laughs> hey, dog. So, so I was like the guy that was doing stuff that time. Yeah. So when lockdown now opened, the boom guys were trying to start there. I was never part yeah. They had to come and say, SB, so you know what? We've got this thing, but it's already there. Yeah. Because just generally, people were not in a good mental state. So I was like the guy that... You were active during the time when everyone else now had dormant. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was, by the time uh, yeah. the opportunity came, you were able to take I it had through. a permit, yeah. like, my nigga. I was going to offices, you remember? Yeah. I had a permit. Yeah. So when people were locked, I was able to go to people's <laughs> offices <laughs> like... <laughs> you're like, oh, <laughs> Ingenuity. So, so you need to... Always, if you are a creative, you always need to look at. Because when there's a challenge, you always have to look at an opportunity yeah. before that challenge. Yeah. Don't say, ah, I'm not a little bit. I was always saying, I'm not a little bit. I was always saying, I'm not a little bit. I was always saying, I'm not a little bit. Like they say, you're not a little bit. You know, opportunity. Yeah, so, to, uh, so, so, I want to talk about uh, both MTV base and Bonobo You Pick as both sponsors. Like some of these things, is bizo. you know, you make it look like light work. You had founders of Bobo Fire Festival, Vic Force Carnival, and Head Honchos. What was the plan with all of that? And also, are we going to see them try to, you know, both MTV uh, base I'll, I'll pick you, up uh, stuff from Botswana? Like, look, they there's a have, disconnect here. Yeah, okay. Look, yes. Look, I've said this before. These guys, they trust me. Yeah. These are brands, right? Yeah. They'll continuously come here. I'm not going to call an artist called a pay or I'll send them MTV base. That's not going to happen. I tell this to the people that are yeah. funding the conference. Like, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to call somebody from home. If, if, if guys, if guys are, if, if, if guys are, are, are thinking that you don't go for like, I'll go and I'm a man, man, I'm a 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 Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I'll get, give it to you because Sir Reds went to Bushfire mm. through us. Went to Vic Force Carnival through us. 
Um, I, I know a lot of uh, a couple of yeah. artists that we've taken to some of the platforms, some of the festivals. Yeah. Nah, where mm. I'm sitting, success, right, mm. is for the dream chasers. Yeah. If you don't want to chase your dream, and you know, you, 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 how you talk about MTV base or <laughs> I can tell you, there were three guys that, that drove from Joburg, right, mm. to BMC because they saw those guys. They called us and said, guys, Rebata Borok, ba 400 pula, Rebata Madimo Olona, Rebata Ing, Rebata Conferencing, we want to meet with those guys. Can we meet with them? Mm. We said, yes, you can. Right? That yeah. guys like Sechaba and two guys came from Lesotho. Yeah. So, BMC very slowly, like people are coming out. If you, very soon you're going to see people come from Mufftown to come to Gap to meet with these guys. Mm. Because the platform is there, right? Yeah. Like I'm saying, the difference between art and any other product is that for yeah. someone A person must, on their own violation, mm. come and make the connect and make the deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think artists need to come to a point where they're not good business people. Yeah. No, and, like get, and, and, and get <laughs> and get business people to run their enterprises. Because I'll tell you... Man, no, no, no. Stop right there. In Botswana, when you try to get a business manager, usually... No, they not end investor. Up in the, in the, in not the, investor. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> investor. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me tell you this. And that's supposed to be your manager. No, no, and you're no, like, what is this dude doing in the newspaper? Let Isn't me, it about I'll, me? I'll tell you this, right? Yeah. Look at the guys in my circle. I'm going to go like that. yeah. They, they, they have fellow never, no, before, because he's an actor. He's an actor, yeah. Yeah, you know, he was on Tekulu. So that's more, why yeah. he's, he's, the, he's the star in our group. You know, yeah. he's, he's well known more than many no, of us. No, he's a celebrity. Yes. <laughs> and you take 52, you take Dave, you take Double, um, uh, you take myself, you take mm. Spokes or all those guys. They're never in the newspaper, mm. even when they're getting interviewed. Yeah. They, you'll never hear them, Babu, were interviewed. But, you know, and they turn down an interview because mm. they're not the stars of the show. So, one of the things that I've realized is that but <laughs> so you cannot you cannot go and 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 employ somebody who's an office who's an camera who's an who's an obora gatla go spana lwena go direla sengwe you need to how simon la batla motho o ntshara u ipotsa re motho o tshotseng like people say but je ba tle go nna bona re se ne ke tshwane market i was having people that were following me at the time yeah. he realized that i have a cohort of people yeah. so you have to go to someone yeah. Okay. So right now when I scout about to go to the house, I'm going to go to the house. go Versus promoters, is there a difference? What are we seeing now? We're seeing Bo Limco. They have these um, these courses, and we have street dudes. You know what I mean? Are, are we living in in separate worlds here? And also, you know, I think maybe we're not going to and put it in with because I never know who to ask these questions. And then we have government departments that have people who do events themselves too. What are we doing? That's what I was telling you first. Before anything else, I want to start with this one. I don't think there are street guys who are doing events. Or Anymore. Computers. Yeah. You know, art is a niche, it's an inborn thing. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to say you're going to be an event manager, you need to have an intuition for it. You need to have a thought process. The success and the failure, it depends on the support system around you. Yeah. Because you, you, you can never do an event alone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing an event, you have conceptualize it. Put people in the positions where they, 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 they have to be good how event was not stage manager was not MC was not what a was not sound engineer you'll mm. get what you'll get what 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 a uh, lack of those people yeah. means to an event yeah. right so I don't think it's street people mm. I think sometimes it's inexperience and unprofessionalism yeah. there's no difference between a promoter and event manager yeah. right yeah. an event is an event yeah. You know, a promoter is just a name. For me, can I promote a promoter of a company yeah. or of an event or some stuff like that? Yeah. For me, I think one of the biggest downfalls in the industry is that people, they don't believe in upskilling and retooling themselves altogether, either by going back to class or either by, by working with people that are in that craft to always... Uh, up, uh, Go for example, I don't know anything about film, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 
but I'm, I was doing form and mm. the project was fresh. I brought mm. the guys from Core Side. Mm. We were supposed to shoot videos. I got your guys, these guys, they came, they shot mm. me. I said, guys, we're not in the video game, right? Mm. You guys were doing this thing. Let's get the video, the guys that are in the video space. Mm. Let them come. At, as, small, uh, yeah, as small as the budget was at that time, yeah. at least we've tried it. We know how it works. We can say, guys, now we want to do bigger budget videos, yeah. bigger number of days and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the most important thing is always to run into different people's paths. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. now, now one of the, my biggest things, mm -hmm. which is my strength and why I always, I'll, I'll always be successful is that I've not locked myself. Mm. I got against the hacker one day. You talking about the matter about local con for me to be successful in this thing. Yeah. And about one part twenty. Yeah. And yeah, when I talk about local con, eighteen gets like a two. Mm. But I'm gonna look good, good client. I'll give them eighteen and keep my two, two. Yeah. Because the client's gonna call me back and say, guys, la go la malwa ne linge sa go mokatle. This time ge jago troko. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I'll tell you, guys, generally and people who are in this business forever, they are always open. For genuine conversations. Definitely. I want to get They're always open for genuine business relationships. And I always tell people this. I don't have a I don't have to sign a contract with local corner mm. or with anybody for us to have a deal. Mm. Right? Yeah. Because if you can screw me without a contract, it means you can screw me with a with contract. With a contract too. <laughs> <laughs> so eh. for me, the starting point is <laughs> can we work without a contract? Right? Eh. And fr I learned this from Fred. Yeah. Now I saw it from Eric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah right. What well, is screwing you with contract? Hey. <laughs> I know, worry. No, we'll see. What about our parents are Caesar? Abraham would say, "Huh? Caesar is going to go, but still, run to the bank." But I need to go on that and on rap on our late day. He's too smart for his own good cover. But then, because of loyalty and because I'm one of the brothers and he's taking care, we never signed anything. Yeah. And I got a channel award, and I was able to be who I am. You know what yeah. I mean? So, so, so uh, I feel so, that so, completely. So, 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 so for me, the big if you look at almost everything, right? Guys that are going up, if especially the guys in film, the guys in other sectors that are growing, and all those are, that are going, like if you look at new men, like yeah. how he evolved from being doing promos for for gigs, dude, this and dude is someone else, leave, man. You know, going to where he, is, he kept on upskilling himself. You've got to keep on upskilling yourself. Mm. You don't have to go to class. You upskill yourself by associating with guys that you can learn from and always go up. Yeah. And also staying on the internet and learning. Yeah. But if you feel that those things. Uh, that go to school yeah. like you yeah. what you are doing right now going back to limco yeah. at, 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 at 60 years at old, 60 years old. <laughs> it's commendable <laughs> yeah. my yeah. man people they go and yeah, that like yeah. yeah no no but i want to say no, that, I know. Know. that guys that are back at school but they are baba chongo horumente but they know horumente has been a little bit of a degree but in point out here i'm going to get a degree but i'm going to get a degree but i'm going to get a Going back to do a degree or ring, but I'm going to go back to I mean, we're getting to a point where even a driver, right, will need a diploma, not only a, a, a driver's license. Mm. Because obviously, people want to have a, 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 a driver that can maybe type something for them. Yeah. You know, yeah. or that, these days you don't want. An one dimensional type. One yeah. One yeah, like yeah. no, yeah, change, you yeah. know. Utility yeah. player. Yeah. I, I think it'll be like an article. I don't know. Did you ever get to do the woman of song workshop? Yeah, I did it. Hey, how did it go? It went well. I mean, actually, it was the most attended event. You know what you asked me here, Lord, and I got this a little boom. Me, been a rentier, I can tell you, what do you think it is about the 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 the, the BW music industry that makes it so uncomfortable for women? Because you know, Libby Flyer, one of the people who calls it out is impossible. She'll be like, ow. You know, no, I'll, I'll, what I'll, is I'll, this? I'll tell you the biggest problem that we have. Like, like there's a lot of subtle abuse towards women, especially where I push you against your career. Mm. Things like that. You know, there, yeah. are, there are so many things that are happening. And this thing drives these women just far away from this thing. Yeah. Because they really love the craft. But, you know, some of them, they've got relationships, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I think it, it deters them. Two, I think also generally, um, women tend to, like, have this thing, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, also, not a lot has been done to make sure that these women can believe in themselves. Yeah. Like, nah, mm. I've, been, 
I've been part of a lot of those guys that are there. There's no yeah. girl there. Yeah. You know, except Zen. Zen is the one who always comes to uh, uh, Lenyar. Uh, you know, because, <laughs> I mean, obviously Zen will come. Yeah. She wants stuff to be done and what like any complaint. It's like, <laughs> you know, make you feel bad. Bad, you know, but for me, I don't think a lot has been done in terms of tooling women. Like, yeah, mm. you know what? How to you know what I'm saying? I also have not met a lot of women like that do come, but like mm. that come here yeah. and say, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think there's a lot of uh, there's a need for programming that is geared towards just empowering women in the in the creative industry mm. because I think women they've got this tendency of thinking that ah uh, because of the film industry, mm. favor you against banana because of women yeah. and gender what what. Yeah, hey, men need money and yeah. they'll, 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 they'll rough you up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always yeah. tell them, like, I always tell people, you know what? I, I come from a family of women. I'm the only <laughs> boy. So I always tell these girls at home, hey, men, men, will, men will rough you up. Yeah. So that's why, that's why, if you look at the girls that, like, probably, like, have worked with me, mm. you are part of um, sa- 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 yeah, you know, Sasa class's uh, success as that. well. Yeah. yeah, I sat with her in Joba when we trying to and I'm like, yo, Sasa. You're not gonna come into the industry like and accept an ice cream and f- and a free uh, muffin, right? You gotta <laughs> step your feet down. I'm mm. saying like the guy next to you must feel your elbow, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I and, and and I think at one point she was that aggressive. Very. You know, very, she was very aggressive. very aggressive. Yeah. And because I think when she was started, she was like that girl that was waiting for someone to tell it. I'm like, mm. nobody's gonna tell you anything. Yeah. If you think that somebody's gonna tell you something or is gonna call you, you waste your time. So We've got to like instill it in women. Like they, yeah. we must fire them up. Like yeah. now, nah, I'm always having that energy. So I think that's that's what's like that's what what lacks in terms of just women empowerment and stuff. Yes. For there's no programming that is geared towards making sure like Hori, you know what? Basadi uh, keba. And I think we're going to take it to your know, uh, the Bumu Awards again because they're looking really, really nice. I finally got myself one. Hey. Um, <laughs> what are we, what are we doing going forward? Um, I'll tell you, you this. know, is, is, uh, I'll tell you this, how man. long do you have it for? How how long does Total Music Group have uh, the, the 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 thing, the staging of that awards? It's for five. Right? Okay. I'll tell you this, man. This will be the third one this year. Are you guys going to do one this year? Or? We've renewed the contract now. Oh, okay. It's for five years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so look, man. If we want to do the awards right, right? People say we must fix prize money. I'm saying let's fix the aesthetics. Mm. The look and feel, right? Yeah. How we treat the artists around the awards, right? Yeah. I've said to people, unlike other awards events where the winner takes it all, mm. for me it's not like that. I believe that if we are saying a nominee gets 2500 a winner gets 500. If artists work hard, you get nominated four times, right? Mm. You get what? Mm. 10 grand, right? Mm. Yes. Okay? Yeah. If another guy gets nominated once because he's got this one song as a turntable hit, mm. he's on the song of the year, right? Mm. And they win 10 grand, right? What happens? Mm. That person shows this is a one hit wonder. Mm. Because song of the year normally is one hit wonders, yeah. right? Yeah. So for me, I said, we're giving the nominee something because if there are no nominees, then there's no awards award show. We're giving the winners something. But this thing is not like a, uh, this is not like a, what you call it? It's not a lottery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're trying to do now is fix issues of artist welfare. Artists this get like the awards in this show, the follow a cable during the We're trying to get like this year. Yeah. Move the awards to a venue relaying. Um, set it up properly, put in big production in there, yeah. get artists or Paikel Rastadi, but never nominate you. They go into a hotel, yeah. they leave it similar yeah. to yeah. Channel they, yeah. they leave yeah. the hotel at five o'clock with a bus, it drops them outside there. There yeah. are stars that day, they go back, yeah. they go out, they have proper breakfast, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. for that one day, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's where, we, where we're looking at it. because that way, right, someone. Even if they have not won an award, they feel like they're an artist that is respected that particular day. So that's where we're going. We're going into like really, really making them. If you look at last mm. year's production, like it went a level up. We brought yeah. in some guy. We brought in Vincent Muloy, you know, the former, um, he was on Cho- Chovicho, like okay. the, the director of Chovicho. Yeah. We brought him in, like to do the production for us. We're going to try to bring him in again yeah. this year again yeah. for him to do the whole thing. We're going to also try to bring other guys that we're talking to. Yeah. Not that we don't have local people that are there, <laughs> but this time around, when we bring him in, we'll bring these guys and say, yeah. Guys, Vincent is coming. Yeah. You know, 
one of the things, one of those things I want right yeah. it will take us long, a long time to get there, right? Mm. But if we get this guy and he can impart knowledge in these guys, yeah. how Minister of Finance will regret the awards, right? Mm. A small event. They are able to take the standard that they have learned from this guy and instill it yeah. at a lower level. Mm. So people, they know, hey, you cannot do that because you must understand, the awards show. Mm. It's nothing about, about what's on stage. Mm. Forget about anything else. People don't care whether they deal in the chair, car, buying. People <laughs> film what's on stage. That's what the whole time is this on is TV. It's about, yeah. So we need to put in a lot of money mm. into what's on stage. We have to make sure Scow Jile, you know what? Uh mm. you know, yeah. there's ailment. This time we have to check everything. What yeah. do you have any illness? Do you have low blood? You've... So yeah. if we know that you're a good performer. For the whole week leading to the awards, right? Yeah. We must be having a special to check what motu. How sure. will he make? Could we need to, yeah. you know, when I went to the BETs with Jebba, eh, like yeah. uh, when we went to the US, no, it was not the B, I forgot those awards that we went to. What were they? Yeah. Boss, every day, you <laughs> want this. Uh, no, 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 no. There was a physician there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the, for the four. How about the pause? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> we we have to get to a point where people, uh, because also that is the only way we can get sponsors, right? Yeah. If we take the production of the awards, right, and we put it up there, and people see this artist on the stage, yeah. So we we try to work on this thing, but they take in time because but about talking your wire, how much do you know me? As soon as we're in the five hundred pillar, we're meeting you halfway on your wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to instill this because in other countries, people they don't need a wardrobe uh, like a costume fee because generally. Uh, they've got sponsors, they've got an industry that is fully fledged where there are brands. Yeah, yeah. But in countries that are developing, like over Nigeria, over Ghana, when there was and the nominees are announced, there's a costume fee, I think it's about 500 bucks. Mm. I think at that time it was about $50 or something in Ghana. Mm. So we're trying to introduce some of this. Thing. But the artist is not going to tell you a costume fee. I'm no, the costume fee ah, eh, because I'm paying you any price, man. Because there's a culture of getting the bag and running out. So we, we're working on this. Also, another thing that we, 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 we fight him very hard. It's change of mentality, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, to to try and change the mentality of people, not only those who are participating in them, the artists, even those that are viewing the hours, so that but one respect the artists. But the only time can the artists can really respect is when they respect the event themselves. Let's talk about that though, this respect level, because quality control is also a problem, Mo B W, And I always go back to like the presidential awards. I don't know what was going on there. Wabana, because like it just threw in a whole lot of people and you know, you give them ten grand, so what? And then they don't perform all year. You know what I mean? Um how, how do we control quality Mo Mo B W because the like, at the end of the day, we are not doing the same thing. And some people will probably get more airplane. Let's say on because you have the yeah about Tobanas Bizo way more closer no, than some of us. To some extent, as compared to some of us, they would probably listen to you uh, or the conversations uh, I'll that tell, they. I'll tell you this thing, nay. Let's be honest. Man. Mm. You can never develop any industry with competitions. That's why people by the graphic designer how to a logo competition. They, they go because you can. You've got to commission art. Right, yeah. and now a music awards ceremony is not a competition. Yeah. Okay, if you look at the thing that we did with Fresh, yeah. it was not a competition. It wasn't a competition. Yeah, we were going out. Pagama stage, it was like my tiso. Yeah. How, yeah. yeah. how full of five hundred pool? Pagama stage, how full of five hundred pool? We are looking. Come and showcase your talent. We are now at la. You coming here? Luna batu bali tiling. All of you bali ling ha. You getting hundred thousand worth of airtime from RB two. You getting what? What they're getting what? Damn, that's what what was going on, huh? Yeah, hundred thousand worth of airtime for you to promote your stuff. I think it was about fifteen twenty thousand. I forgot the prize money yeah. per person. There was an amount that each and every artist was getting. Yeah. And then those that are excelling, I think it was about four, three or five. Yeah. They were getting additional additional thing for the videos that they were shooting. Quality like didn't the, look the, the Video alone, I think it was fifteen grand. If yeah. I alone, you know what I'm saying? You, you hold us in yeah. We brought in the judges. We brought in the so yeah. there was a whole ecosystem. After they did the thing, I think the five companies that were doing the the videos, yeah. we had uh, 
judges as well. Yeah. They were doing the the judging for those videos. I yeah. think Marito Ning was there, Kennedy yeah. was there, I forgot another person. Yeah. And then in terms of the music, after we did the whole music thing yeah. for the audio, the Mapala was there, there was also Hensi. Yeah. Who was the other person? I forgot the other the other guy. No, no, you were busy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Because the, the, the equipment was big. I can't mm. remember everybody. You yeah. Know? When we were doing this thing even countrywide, we were getting guys like but the street guys. Yeah, yeah. There were guys that like in Kobokang, but the their job was to pick pick artists go to Kaolo. Go yeah. like you they'll go to Hanhai, get this guy who can sing, yeah, get this yeah. and we're fueling them and giving them something. That's dope, you know uh, what I'm saying? What uh, yeah, man, who do you know there who knows who's good? Yeah. No, I know so and so So you've got to get the guys that can get the that, that are good, you know, to bring them there. Yeah. That's how we at the school that we went to, you remember the young kid? The kid? girl, the little yeah, mama. the girl yeah. was made to sing. Then said, yeah. "We got yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the way, I know her. Yeah, I remember her track. You and it stuck to the head. Yeah, but there was yeah. another one at Kangkezo. Yeah. You know, the other one who's more like Afro pop. Yeah. He sang at school. We got her from the school assembly. We took him to the, <laughs> we took her to the truck to say, "Come hey, sing, come up, and we saw she she has it. So sometimes to identify talent, it's not about like really getting people to compete. Yeah. I want to I want to stop you there first because I'm going to run out of time. But I want to talk about your ne other because they, with anything in Botswana, when the pula start circulating, there's always going to be some talk behind uh, why you guys and why DJ Fresh. I'm a man. Is there anyone here? In ah, the, yeah, don't point no, at no, me. No, no, no. Including you. No, I'm not on his no, level. No, I'm, I'm asking you a question. It's very important to you for you to answer this question. Er. Kumpia no ananas kaya. Now we tibel it. Er. No, 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 no. Er. Oi, we. Now we tibel it. Er. Zungu inyat. Er. On full throttle, we took it as in trap. Every suit you like. If you were to go into a bedroom and sit there and tell people, yeah, nage nanska, I can do this, 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 that. And immediately after you finish your presentation, fresh gets in. What's gonna happen? My man, let me tell you I this. Is, right, they got a nice company. I mean, no, 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 You know why? Upset. You know why they're upset? Hey. Go to that's what I was telling you. Hey. People just generally like to overrate themselves. Hey. People must stop overrating themselves. Hey. Fresh is the biggest thing ever to come out of this country. Hey. It's no joke. Yeah. There's no one who comes number two, three, four, five from where he is. Probably mm. it can start at number ten. Yeah. I can tell you, these guys that are shooting this thing here, yeah. if there's anything that they've tried to do in SA today, mm. And they go to South Africa today, mm. and they say we've been trying to call this guy, he's not answering. Yeah. And fresh calls this guy and say, "Can I let my give our local corner?" Yeah. But what about what's happening? Listen to them. Yeah. No, Tell I, me what's going to happen. No, I have personal. Uh, no, 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 wait, out, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not them. I'm not those guys who are mad. No, 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 no. Forget about those guys. Hey, you better go and slow And I'm going to talk about to buy, buy what? Obana, one of the things. And it's very selfless as well. No, no, uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Like one thing. Yeah. And I think about one of my men. He said, we like to frustrate ourselves. Because yeah. How's <laughs> People like to say, yeah. we do the Bomu Awards. Yeah. 40% or 30% of the things that people get pissed off. They fail to do it when we've paid them. Yeah. 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 But to barata who buy a car, baka kudira lo, di basa di ko ni. Manega, like mm. people need to get over this thing and like really soil their hands. Mm. Or if you cut, the reason why but to buy na baba bangonga kwa people want to work and sell. More than how to go to fresh food dressing, kana boska ba dressing. So I'm on to let the boska bar gentlemen ngas charo charo haka. You saying ngas charo charo haka lan jisa si. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the biggest biggest downfall of many people. Mm. Na. As I was developing Total Music Group, I realized that what is missing here is star yeah. power. Yeah, yeah. And then approach fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to learn to go to hell. I knew to hit But if I come with this guy, yeah. it will go to this level. Yeah. Wow. I hear you. I hear you. So but not Kana gore motho ngotla ba itsholetsa gore ena o ka hirwa kana o ka itsholetsa gore ena ka bereka le local corner hey my man go local corner maybe at the local uh, the guys yeah. they've got 20 30 guys yeah. that have been doing stuff and they know gore ba ka khona ngwe na wa tla o tla ima gore how's no nana ba gore ba re no mfetu so re king ah ah style sa gore serat wa tswa bua go start go run my man once people say no hare ka ke ra khona go dirisa because of 1 2 3 4 5 <laughs> take those things e ba re leng and you better come also not back and then come back and say gents we teach about that I'll tell you what yeah. I'll tell you about one of the guys one of the guys that I work with from Moten I think you know him spokes yeah. he makes suits and stuff like that yeah. 
when I started to work with them, when I started to work with them, and they were ours, he was just coming to do them, you know, wardrobe and stuff like that, and yeah. to give boom to help us with just doing merchandising, booty mm -hmm. So we started to like people that can just get things done, like yeah. going to pick up people, doing this, doing this, doing logistics. Yeah. They said, Sabel, I really want to do this thing. Mm -hmm. I realize what was Papa your home, but will you be able to tell me every day I get to rapagal or get to get drinks, get drinks, get drinks, get drinks? This guy was. Had zero experience, right? Yeah, sorry. Now, he ca this guy had zero experience in this thing. Mm -hmm. Just being a runner. Like, mm -hmm. not a runner, but being this guy that, just a problem like, yeah. when we are shooting, making sure the venue is booked. Yeah. You know, a logistics guy. Yeah. yeah. But right now, he's like far better than many people that have been in the industry and just doing that part. Yeah. Like, getting the booking done, getting this thing done, getting quotations done, getting a task sheet done. You know what I'm saying? Because there are certain yeah. jobs in the, in the production that you don't need to go to school, like a logistics person. Mm. You know, you, if you're doing mm. it, like, it stretches you guys. Yeah. But yeah. if you've got somebody who's doing that, it's very small, it's a very, very small job, but very crucial. I know people like that usually become very rich, you know. Baba <laughs> Yeah. But I think what I've been looking for, I don't know. I can't tell you. I know we tweet it. I'll give you. I'll give you. Tomorrow, for example, Masak. Masak was telling mm. me the story of how he got to record a drum. He was sleeping in the studio. Yeah, like he was waiting for everybody <laughs> to leave. Then he'll go into the studio and still beat and record himself. I kid you not. That's what he was doing. Carry the tabernacle. When I was recording a happy hour, Oktaba na hela mo mo studio MS. The next day when you come back, this dude has a jam. Yeah, what about so 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 this is what is lacking. What about mm. my man? I'll tell you this. You were talking about artists. Mm. Mm. Artists, they made at two hundred and fifteen. They made hundred. If you let people pay, if you let people let flight, let accommodation, let people die. I'm low hospitality. We are now supporting five yeah. grand. Yeah. Yeah. Like 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 <laughs> Local artists can still achieve that. Right, mm -hmm. if they have the right people around them, one of the biggest downfall of the artists is Aaron. I'm sorry, They have not realized. Or if you look at all those my piano boys, they're from either Soweto or mm -hmm. they're either from uh, Pretoria, and they are very hungry. Right, mm -hmm. Joburg is like saturated for them. Mm -hmm. When they market themselves, they know you know what we can go to Zim, we can go to Bolz, we can go there. They will work with it. They will call Boko Ops to go go your own. Mm. You know, they will check what is that jam play. And once that jam starts playing, they will, you know. There's a robot boy You know, he has a team of about like six other people. He didn't tell us the idea. Yeah, when they're filming. No one. If you want to hear about it, you know, when the Prince Royal and Tana Kungana. And, you know, and he's one of the hardest workers that I know. He's like, Caesar, I've never seen anything like this. These guys. At every turn, they're doing something that they're putting up. You know, all of them are creators. To some extent. Robert, Robert, Boy is another, Robert Boy is another, yeah. another level. So, uh, so I'll, yeah. I'll tell you about the, 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 the guys. Like, it's about the moment, like, right? You know, getting things right. Like, my man, I don't know. I'm sorry to say this. Mm. I don't know of any artist that is seriously into content right now. Yeah. That's, that's churning out content like, what these guys are doing. Mm. I mean, if you take this toss guy that you're talking about, mm. he's always dancing on some song <laughs> and featured. I mean, I can tell you this car, as long as local artists are not dropping, and at least it's mm. good that you've got fellow, you're dropping a song every <laughs> The reason why you are relevant even up to now is because you're dropping songs. That is what it, that out of all the fuck ups you're doing, this is what's saving you, right? Out of, <laughs> <laughs> dropping songs. Yeah, my nigga, we are mm. competing with people that are dropping a song every two months. The other day I was looking for a cabs at a small song. I went into Spotify. Close to a thousand songs came out. <laughs> You know, it's like I punched Cubs at a small. Mm. I punched the other day a Jersey Q. He had about 600 songs. Okay. So, if these guys, I mean, if you look at Cubs' career, probably mm. where it started up to now, he's got, what, he's got a thousand or something songs. Mm. He's always working that one. But where now, but what's most positive about the Barska? Who's up in as a ten? Yeah. My nigga, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. You cannot try to claim your table, your 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 your, your steak, your your steak at the table because people will say ah. Larmontio is a big artist in Busan. And mm. Alpina is a 10. Uh, so, 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 so you have to make sure that, you know, you tick all the boxes. I'm not saying having few songs does not mean you are big. No, you can't be big. Be, Tata, you're making a lot of sense. Uh, I, I actually feel you completely because <laughs> I think right now, especially because we don't have to wait on TV stations, we don't have to wait on radio. Just 
Well, not one I deal. You know, just I'll do your you, job I'll and then you, publish you, your your own stuff. The only guy, and I'm gonna help him. Like, when I, when I open it. No, no, there's a guy called <laughs> Fella. Eh. Oh, Karisukinus. I'll tell you one thing about that guy. Yeah. That guy is like producing people. And I think that is why he ended up even releasing his own music because he's yeah. there. These people that I'm recording here, they're fucking around. No one he's, shoot, yeah, he's, shot, he's shooting his own <laughs> music videos. He's doing what an artist must do. All right? yeah. But now, what he needs to move, out, move into is content. Yeah. He needs to now, you know, if you look at the Scorpion Kings, right? Yeah. Cubs and, and, and Maporis, mm. they put GoPros in that studio. The, when the, an artist is coming there to produce, they switch on the live, yeah. people are coming in. Yeah. That's what, where I think it's a disconnect with Fela. Mm. So this year, mm. I'm saying it here, this year I'm going to buy him that thing, the GoPro. You know what I'm saying? To put him in, in his studio. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm playing. Because I like it, you know? Yeah, and he's awesome. I, I like Very disciplined. He, yes. Yeah. The other day I was talking to him and I was like, yo, man, Kante, what's wrong with this? You know, every time, you know, he, he brings out he submits for the bonus. Yeah. He will come in and submit like 30 or 40 projects that he has done in the year. And I'm asking him, fella, where are all these guys? Are busy? <laughs> Some of these guys, Raban Duen, I'm mm. not going to record these guys for free, mm. take their songs to radio, mm. and then put them also on, on the TV. Book, yeah. Like, if I go shoot a little video. Yeah. And I'm sitting back and I'm like, but these artists are always complaining. Hello, Raban Duen, fella. Mm. They 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 they, they do not you know spend anything on the songs. Yeah. Why do they think that promoters must pay them? Because <laughs> So for me, for me, promoters, promote, you know, people have become, good people have become so entitled. Entitled. Mo lo bakanya kor promoters are free givers of money. No, mm. promote that talk about. There's no I'm staging a show, niggas, because I'm trying to get that back. Hang on, I'm going to call you. I'm going to get you. You know, I'm going to get you. 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 i am going to at the end of the day, you're not doing it for the promoter, you're doing it for the fans. Mm. I want to tell people, Hore, if you know your worth as an artist, the moment you start promoting your gigs, it's all a on. Is the moment promoters are going to come to you because they know, you know what? Omar and Amu, he makes sure he's on to mm. I'll tell you, Black Kofi. My man, if you look at Kofi, he's coming to him, he's retweets that thing. Yeah. He, somebody else, like I heard you say, but can I call you about saying you? <laughs> no! <laughs> On your way to the money, do that. And I'll tell you, promoters, like, they've got this thing, if they love you, mm. they'll trade towards you yeah. in big numbers. Yeah. Even if I just because of one thing. Yeah. They will just come to you because of that. Or how about, you know, this artist comes on time, does this, does mm. this, does this. But if there's something, and like you, like, I'll tell you, like, you know why I'll book you all the time? <laughs> it's because you give a good show. You know, and I'll tell you, like, you yes, know what, Caesar, the one thing about you is that you will never give an average show. And because of that, I always tell, even tell my niggas, that's Bobo Fellow, that's why they call you. Yeah. When they've got something based on your own analysis. But, Luanaska, teach artists, hey, Mm. <laughs> they must go out there and do the work. And that's hard. It's all like, I, I, I feel you, especially nowadays. I mean, because now I'm much older and Leon experience has shown me because, you know, we have a lot of guys who've fallen by the wayside because of your pride, your neo, and all this ego. It's unwarranted, you know. Rebecca Moore, we're in the same business together, so why you got to have an ego? I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand, Honorori. How then do you teach them, or do you teach them about bonsa? Because Mampizi was saying, one or you know, ego is what he's seen is the biggest thing when it comes to these artists. We have all that information. How then do we pass it or reach a helmo on a cash? Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you this, guy. Ne? Um, for you to be successful, for any artist to be successful, right? They need to do the right thing, and they know what's the right thing. Mm. They must stop doing the wrong thing. Yeah. You cannot continue to do the wrong thing over Nikisa mm. There's a lot of information on the internet. There's a lot of offices you can go to. Mm. Now for me, South African or Nigerian or whatever artists are still going to come and get a lot of money, yeah. get all these amenities, and the artists are also still going to get crumbs yeah. as long as they continue to do what they're doing. 
the only thing that needs to change in this country, you know, it's how we fund artists, mm. you know, how we mobilize our businesses. We have to get to a point where if you are funding an artist like Scar, mm. you're funding them to catapult them to the next level, mm. right? Yeah. You cannot fund Scar to go and record an album. He can record mm. an album if he wants to record. Mm. But what does Scar need to get to the next level? Mm. Probably he needs to set up his own studio. Mm. Fund Scar to, to set up his own studio because at that studio he'll be able to record other people. Mm. We need to set up proper structures. Say, don't worry, you know. Isn't that where the National Arts Council is supposed to come in? What do you think is going to happen with that? I think as we close up, because when I realized the launch chat thing, um, I, I, I would have been comfortable if, if you know an actual person who's in the industry right now is in there. But I'm guessing this is the interim uh, uh, no, board. No, Tebato is there. Yeah, Tebato. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, t joined Hey, yeah. But he is, he's been a little rapper for all this time. He's an economist. You know what I mean? The last time Tebato performed was a long time ago, but at least they know. But... <laughs> Well, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're my bro, but like no, no, I'm saying, someone who's, no, okay, who's in the wait, trenches wait, wait, with get, us. Get, can you get your, your, get, get your... Okay, let me get... Let me get, 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 get a breathe and get your drift about it. Okay. Tebas was in the arts council. He knows the music business. Or probably I would want to believe that he knows okay. what's going on. He's a recording artist. Hey. He was a recording artist and it was a very, very dif different time. Kuli wasn't a, a, a solo artist back. It was a long time ago. He <laughs> passed like it was a long time ago. You know, I want someone who's actually in the trenches right now who actually knows context they are on okay, and how much we've regressed. Uh, uh, yes, I will tell you how the Arts Council can be successful. It can only be successful if we go to them and tell them what they want, or what we want, sorry. Okay. So Were you invited the, the, for the, the launch? Wait, wait, yes. Were you at the launch? I was invited. Okay. Because you can say Abe, right? No, because yeah, it was Abe. Uh, yes. So I'm trying to figure out, because I see, it's always the well, same people. Uh, no. It's always the same people. Yes. Build your name. Hey. Make your name big. Hey. And make people respect your craft. And they know, they, whenever there's something, your name comes at the top of the of the list. Let's go to the National Arts Council offices and register. Another thing is, when they call a consult, let me tell you this. This is a rule that I will tell you. When there's a meeting, what only meeting Arts Council, you guys are what, five, six years, yeah. right? Write your points, give it to one guy who's out You don't have to be there yeah. to represent the whole group, right? Yeah. Make sure this guy is there. When he comes back, call a meeting, guys, let's have a young yes. right? Okay, fine. No matter what you feel about what you feel about what you feel Hey, my man, put in a meeting. Guys, we had the Arts Council meeting, one, two, three, four. We call this company. We want to have a meeting with you. Yes. You go then, prison. they'll know that you, these guys are serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Problem is, what you feel about what you feel at my office, I want to do it. Mm -hmm. We ask anybody, yeah. anywhere, whether I get touched. Kind of, when they call me for a meeting, mm -hmm. I make time yeah. because I never know what touch has in his hand that yeah. time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'll never be hungry. Yeah. Because what? Or I'll never starve because I give everybody an opportunity. When people call me, mm -hmm. I pick the easy one. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm saying? So, 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 the mentality of people thinking that they can go to the top and eat alone. Yeah. It's dumb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not going to eat alone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and what you guys are doing here, yeah. I'll tell you, these guys, they couldn't pull off this thing without you. Yeah. And lawyer, not happy, you can't pull it without them. Without them. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Hey, it's not going to be a good thing. No, it's not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a good thing. We want to take the bag and run away. <laughs> it's the mentality that is there. Well, yeah, not blind. Well, I think that's why I, I mess with these guys because of that. I think we're going to have to wrap it up. I think this is the longest uh, episode we've had so much because totally you keep dropping jewels, Brianka. Yeah. And uh, yeah, shout out to, to you and Total Music Group. What are you guys looking forward to doing? Are you going to sign artists? Yeah, I think what I'm doing now, yeah. right? I'm working on buying a stake in a label yeah. in SE that's doing this piano thing, right? Yeah. Guess what what I'm doing? You yeah. know, you don't know. People they think that no, I'm not I'm not empowering those guys. Yeah. The plan is to take artists that are like here, yeah. plug them to this label, yeah. even producers, plug them to this label. Yeah. Because those guys are happening now, right? It's worldwide. Right? Because those guys are happening now. They are able to diversify the sound of the producers that I'm I'm bringing from here yeah. into their sound. Yeah. And when we turn it back, 
Mm. Right? We've got a crossover sound that can work that side and this and side. This side yeah. Right. And then we've got two markets. Yeah. Two, you are able to also catapult the artists to another because those guys are doing amazing stuff. Yeah. It means that they've already built a network yeah. of TV channels, of mm. radio. So when we plug the, the artists that I have, and it's got this yeah. guy's logo yeah. in it. Yeah. They don't say, ah, keep on keep on So that's, yeah. for Total Music, like I was telling you, right now, the industry has moved from one man show. Like, Total Music Group will not make it alone. Mm. So, the best way is to partner with those that are strong in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome stuff, man. Mr. Sabel Mudibe. Thank you so, so much, Brayaka. And uh, thank you for being early. And thank you for the jewels. I mean, you know, as, as BW musicians, I think, you know, participate. You know, participate. You know, you can't just sit there and say and see things happen. And my Peter said the same thing. It's like, yo, if you're not at the table, <laughs> people are going to make decisions and they won't care. Yeah. You know, people are going to tell when not a So uh, it's been reiterated. So now you understand. Guys, it's been dope. It's our fourth episode. Shout out to Local Corner Multimedia. And of course, it's Stay Well Hotels right here in Mokoditani. And also our content producer, Me Mili Beleme. Thank you so much, Mamisto. We out here, Pudicast. This is a family thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs>